This beach exists on the most haunted island in the Philippines. It is said to have been soaked with the blood of soldiers during World War II, leaving behind many blood-stained stones. Thank you for tuning into Amy's Crypt. Today I have brought you to a little island beach in the Philippines to tell you about a very creepy and very disturbing urban legend. This place is Bloodstone Beach. Corregidor Island exists just off the coast of Manila in the Philippines. It was an important stronghold during World War II, which saw it heavily attacked and bombed. While the entire island is said to be very haunted, with many notorious active locations you can find videos for on my channel, no other place has as sinister a legend as Bloodstone Beach. Given the amount of bloodshed to occur on the island, many have been left to believe that red stained stones strewn across this beach are actually bloodstones. Tonight, we look to explore the truth behind this tragic urban legend. Alright guys, before I can explain the history and the legends of this place as to why it has the name Bloodstone Beach, I need to find a very special type of stone to show you all. Alright guys, so we are currently on Corregidor Island, which is in the Philippines just outside of Manila Bay. And this stone is what interests me about this place and why I have brought you all here today. So this is known as a bloodstone and the beach that I'm standing upon is just literally, they're scattered everywhere. It's littered with these, there are a lot of them. And that is why this beach is called Bloodstone Beach. A little bit of background info about Corregidor Island is that it played a very important part in World War II. It was actually the key to capturing Manila Bay and it was fought over by the US and the Japanese and it was occupied by both of them at different times. So there were actually a lot of battles that took place here as well as a lot of bombings. There were literally thousands of people that died on this beach as well as this entire island. And not just any, any one nationality, it was a lot of people a lot of US soldiers, a lot of Japanese, and a lot of Filipinos. This island's history is so bloody that it's accumulated a lot of ghost stories and supposedly haunted locations around. So we have haunted hospitals, haunted tunnels, uh, haunted army barracks, and everything on this island is in ruins because they were bombarded with bombs so badly. Everything was literally blown to smithereens here. I've got full videos and investigations on a lot of those haunted places, so make sure to hit subscribe. But I want to show you how often these supposedly blood-stained stones show up on this beach. The legend is that this is actually blood stains from the soldiers who fell here and died on the island. Okay, so there's a bunch here. Have a big one here, smaller one here. So they're all different. I actually thought that the stones would just be maybe red, but they're white stones and they have this almost red stain on them. So it really does look like it could be a blood stain, and that is the legend. Apparently geologists have come up with a scientific reason why the rocks look this way. So there's some natural uh, phenomena occurring here, why they are stained. It's not actually blood, though it is creepy to make the connection with uh, the gory history of this island and why these rocks look like this. It really does look like blood stains though. Along with these rocks here, I've just noticed the sand here actually looks quite black. I'm not sure the reason, but it reminds me of another beach, haunted beach that we were in, in India called Dumas Beach. And the local legend there is that the sand has turned black because it has mixed with cremated human ashes um, from the people that had been scattered over the beach as their final resting place. I also have a video on that one if you guys are interested, I'll link it below.
So this one is really cool. I tell you what guys, like, I, I understand why this legend exists. This actually looks bloody. It looks like there's blood on it. And it's not like the stone is red. It actually, I mean, if you've seen that and connected with the history, you literally could think, oh, maybe they're blood stains. This one here especially, I don't know what the geological reason behind it is. I read that they know why. I need, I would need to do more research on that, but it is very creepy. The, like, the amount of death that happened on this island is tremendous, and it's supposed to be one of the most haunted islands in the world. It's very sad and very tragic, and creepy that, I mean, even this one, this one has barely any red on it, but seeing that, it could, appear like it's a blood stain but it looks like a smudge all right guys because this place has such a bloody history and a very interesting name and legend we're gonna hang out until the sun goes down i'm gonna conduct a spirit box and see if there's soldiers around that want to communicate with us but i mean in the meantime something i always do when i go to the beach is gonna sound odd maybe to some people but I usually bring a bag and pick up trash depending on where you're going. Sometimes you need a whole bag. Uh, there's this initiative I learned about, take three for the sea. It's really simple if you go to the beach, take away three pieces of rubbish with you and it leaves the beach that little bit more cleaner. Um, I don't try and take a whole bag because we've got a little bit of time to kill before we can, uh, it can be dark and we can do the spirit box. and like seriously look how much trash I've got there's shoes there's makeup there's stationery there's toothbrushes there's so many lollipop sticks I reckon there was a party and everyone just lollipop sticks like I can see them everywhere there's one here 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 you know little odd bits of plastic Chinese New Year balloon like there's so much stuff here this shouldn't be on the beach guys like we should try to not use as much plastic as we do anyway. But if you have to and you use plastic, like get rid of it responsibly. Don't just leave it on the beach. So we're losing light pretty quick now. So we should be able to do the spirit box really soon. We're just putting our bug spray on. We have been eaten alive by bugs in the past on this channel. So that's nice that we actually have that this time. The, I'm going to quit picking up trash now because I can't really see anymore, but oh, I got a lot, I got a lot, and this is heavy, so much plastic. We've got to keep our haunted places beautiful, guys. What's that? I don't know. What does it sound like, even? Sound like a boat going over rips, maybe? I don't know. Okay. All right guys, so we are standing on Bloodstone Beach and this place has some incredible history that is also very disturbing. A lot of people have suffered and died here and there is said to be a lot of paranormal activity occurring all across this island. As far as I know, no one's actually investigated the beach before. I'm going to do a really quick spirit box here and see if we can communicate with maybe any fallen soldiers. I'll be reaching out in English. There was a lot of uh, US soldiers that died here. A lot of also Japanese and Filipino soldiers, but I don't speak their languages, so I feel like I could relate mostly to the uh, US soldiers here. Hello, my name is Amy. Are there any spirits on this beach that want to communicate? Are there any US soldiers here? Could 
you please come close and tell me what your name is? Can you tell me about the Battle of Craigville Island? Were you here during World War II? Where were you born? What happened on this beach? Why do they call this place Bloodstone Beach? Was there bloodshed here? Were you here during the bombings? Thank you, goodbye. Alright guys, so I really don't feel like, we, we, we definitely heard voices come through, I didn't hear any that were meaningful to the questions that I was asking, though sometimes I pick those up in review if you guys did hear something. Even if it was in Filipino or Japanese, I would love to know what you heard in the comments below. Guys, this is a new one for Amy's Crypt. We're just walking back and we see all these big toads. They all ran in front of us. Where's the other one? Oh, look. <laughs> They're pretty cute. Ugly bastards, aren't they? I think it's cute. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this quick video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. If you want to read any more info about this place or other haunted locations that I have visited, head to amyscrypt.com. You guys can also find me at amyscrypt on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Until next time, 